Darby and I were like, um, we were really close friends. And um, we were really, really close. Darby, the best way to put it is that Darby protected me more than, more than anybody else ever has in my life and more than he ever did for anybody. It, for um, most of the time, it was like girls always protecting him. Oh, no, Darby, you can't have that knife. Oh, no, Darby, you can't do this. Oh, no, Darby, you should never own a motorcycle. Oh, no, Darby, you're going to come with me right now, you know? And I never did that. I was more like... Um, he didn't tell me what to do because he felt I was really intelligent. He just, um, he just sort of made sure nothing happened to me. He, uh, you know, one time we were walking into the Starwood and this girl said something and it was like so like, I don't, I don't pay any attention to what people say anymore. And he, he was like a few steps behind me and uh, he, um, I got up to the door and I said, where the hell, you know, he comes running up and he goes, where were you? And he goes, I go, well, what do you mean, where was I? He goes, I just hit this girl for you. And I go, what'd you do that for? And he goes, well, she said something about you. And I said, well, what did she say? And he goes, I don't know. I just, she just said something, so I went back and hit her. I went, God, would you just, that's a little embarrassing, you know, don't do that. But he was really good to me. It was after, like, after the germs played the last time. I mean, all the people that I've gone out with and hung around with and everything, what happened was, um... I was in the dressing room. First they weren't going to let me in. I said, what are you going to do, leave me standing out here alone? I really am with Darby. And I went in, and I was sitting in the back of the room, and he just, like, opened the door really fast. And in front of all these people, he goes, Casey, where's Casey? Where is she right now? And I said, I said right here. And he, like, threw his arms around me and kissed me. And he said, don't worry, I've got drugs, and here's the money. Go, you know, divide it. And he trusted me that way, you know. He, um, he like, really believed in me. And, um... It was something, we had the same kind of mood swings. We would, like, if we were drinking, we'd forget the same things, and we'd remember the same things, and it was really a joke, you know? It was a joke at the time, the fact that we, you know, both went up and down at the same time. But what, um, but that was also what was to hurt us. And um, we'd been, like, kidding around about it. You know, we always did about, you know, how we would kill ourselves and, you know, stuff like that. And then the time came and, um, and, and we did it and he died. Um, there are a lot more details, you know, he died, but I didn't. I mean, I did technically die for about three minutes. I think uh, two and a half, three minutes. I read the police report and, um, for me, it was really hard because, see, a lot of people said the general feeling was that Darby didn't mean for me to die. And um, he didn't mean for me to die and that he did it on purpose and stuff like that, which is untrue. Um, he did mean for me to die because I was dead for a few minutes. We'd worked out already that the drugs moved slower through my veins because we'd done drugs and we'd known what was going on. And I don't understand uh, why why you both did decide to, to die? We talked about suicide before, um, and we talked about committing suicide together before, but not in a serious way. But a lot of stuff you say isn't exactly always in like a heavy, serious, you know, in bed kind of conversation. Some of it's just a conversation, and we just we both just looked at each other, and the night was just like so. It was just such a bad night, and we just, and once we left, we said, we told people we're going, we're going to go kill ourselves, you know, that's it. We said it like nobody believed us, you know, but once that had been done, we were just like, you know, going, and, and we got started, and we were doing it, and people really have doubts about the fact of whether, you know, we really thought we were going to die. People will swear to me that Darby doesn't think he was going to die, and I know for a fact that he wanted to die. You know, he wrote... He wrote a suicide note thinking he was going to die. He knew how much drugs he was doing, and he did think he was going to die. And he did also think that I was going to die.
I had to realize, like, I woke up in the arms of a, of a dead man. A lot of people, like, had this thing about how he laid himself out like a cross, which he didn't. His arms were around me, you know, and it's like, it's a very frightening feeling if that's the way you wake up, and that's the one person who's like, you know, loves you, you know, it's like very, it was very, very hard for me, and um, it's, I'm still getting over it. The hardest thing is not having the support of your friends, I guess. I have to pull myself together, not anybody else can, and, and somebody, you know, they ask me all the time about wanting to die, and I can honestly say there's not a moment that I'm awake, and there's not a moment that I uh, know when I'm going on that I that I don't wish that I had died that that night, you know. But um, but since I didn't, I'm not going to sit alone in my room and cry about it.